welcome back to my channel and today's video is all about me saving your ass on Valentine's Day. So as you know it is February and it is slowly creeping up to the either dreaded day or excited about day. For me I like it, I'm in a relationship so that's just how it goes for people I guess in relationships or happy ones. So it's upon us and if you're stuck for ideas, which you can do because you can do the same old boring stuff every year, I'm here to be your saviour. So I'm going to do a little section on couples, a little section on singles and then I'm not going to forget you guys that are loners. Like the majority of me, I'm a very alone person who doesn't have many friends and just wants something to do by themselves. So I got you all covered. So let's start off with couples. So if you're thinking you're not wanting to go out for a meal, I, I, got, I got some ideas for you. So instead of go, arguing over where to go, because if you're like me and my partner would argue constantly like, where should, we have, where should we go to eat? Should we go to KFC? Should we have a Subway? Oh, I don't know. Should we go to Morrison's? As the, we can't decide. And if you're like that, and especially on Valentine's Day, when you're thinking of a place to go, it's going to be fully booked in certain places, it's going to be busy. Instead of arguing over where to go, have a date night in. Like, plan a three-course meal. Get all the ingredients the day before. Plan out what you want. Maybe it's your, both your favourite meals or something. Maybe it's the first meal you ever had together. And get yourselves in the kitchen. I'm not saying girls do it. I'm saying both of you go into the kitchen and prepare the meal. Cook the meal together. Put an album on that you reminds you of like when you first got together or something. And just have a fun evening cooking food in the meal to get in the meal together in the kitchen together and then eat it because <laughs> it is always great um and then you could always take dessert to bed yeah i got you i got you i told you i'm catering for everybody right now so you could always do that that means you're at home you're already prepared you could also get all dressed up and ready and have like a proper date night at home. So have your showers, get ready in separate rooms, like get fully glam, uh, cook your meal together, have a great meal and then go have some amazing sex. Or if that's not what you're into, maybe you don't like cooking, take away at a movie night in your slobs, get into the most comfy clothes, it doesn't matter what you've got on your face, it doesn't matter what you've got on your body, put a movie on maybe one you want to see for a while, or maybe one that reminds you of when you fell in love, I don't know, uh, and order yourself a takeaway. Get your head a Papa John's or a Domino's or a Chinese, whatever you're both into. That's just so chill, inexpensive, relaxed, and if that's if Valentine's Day is something that you're not 100% keen on or you cannot be bothered this year, that is a good option for yourselves. Now, if you are old school romantic, like I am, I love anything romantic, I'm like, I should have been born when men courted women properly. Take a picnic under the stars. You could get all your favorite snacks up together, um, pack it up in a nice big picnic box, take a blanket, either go for a walk with it if you live nearby somewhere and you haven't got transport, or go in the car and go and find yourself a really nice like location that's not busy, that's open, you can, it's got a great view and you've got a good angle of the stars. Angle, you can tell I do makeup angles. Uh, and just have a picnic outside, hopefully if the weather isn't crappy if you're in the England. If you're in the England it's mostly crap. So you could have a picnic in the car. <laughs> and then you can just do your own thing, there's no people around you. There's no busyness, there's no clanking of cutlery, there's no arguing over where to go and it's just a pair of you and it's romantic, it's under the stars, what more could you possibly want? That sounds beautiful, I love it. I'd like to do that. Right, so lads, if you're stuck for a little idea of what to do and maybe your girlfriend has put it up to you to decide, why don't you go and take her to see? Fifty Shades Freed because that comes out I think on the 9th or something um, so it will be out for Valentine's Day and if she's into that then you've scored brownie points by taking her to it also she's probably going to want to go home and try some of the things out perhaps maybe she's, she's going to get her a little bit in the mood um, she's obsessed with the films like me maybe I don't know but it puts you in the good books 
for going with her and she'll be so thankful that you've come with her because not many guys would do that i know mine wouldn't um so that that'd be nice go see that maybe go for a, a mcflurry after and then go home and get visé so that's an option if you are stuck for ideas and you're a guy or Book in advance at your favourite place, like a restaurant or somewhere where you both like to go. Book in advance, book a week before, maybe start looking now um, for places where to go. So moving on to singles. Okay, singles, I'm here, I'm here for you. So forget about soulmates, forget about what a day it is, get your best glad rags on, put your best makeup on if you're a girl, um, get your best clothes on doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy I suppose for this and get your single girls or your single guy friends and go out forget about everything that's around you so you could go to an all you eat buffet because who doesn't like that and I don't think many couples would probably go for that on Valentine's Day uh, so go stuff your face and forget about everything else or you could go to the cinemas to see a different type of film like an action film or comedy or something like that no rom-coms uh, go have a good time or go dancing go out partying clubbing go to a nightclub just dancing out way before you know it, it's over so that's a good idea if you want to try and forget about it and just go do your own thing if you're not like me and you don't if you if you're like me even if you don't like going out because i'm 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 not one for going around town or clubbing or anything get your friends around and um, like your single friends to your house have a party there so invite loads of single people get dressed up have a party get some drinks going some music i like things like that much better than going out and um, make sure they like single though because you don't want couples there put some horror movies on if you're not a party girl put some horror movies on get your friends around get some popcorn get some like beer or something and stick like a horror fest on for the night because you don't want rom-coms you don't want to see couples you won't see that in horror movies you'll see people getting stabbed and shit so that's good for you to forget and if you don't like partying that's a good option and just pig out you could have a slumber party i think that's a great idea get all your girls around this one is for the girls because i don't think guys do slumbering do you guys get your girls around get everybody in the pajamas you know share stories watch movies pig out veg out fall asleep then the day is over and complete. So that is my advice for singles. And if you are a loner or you have maybe no single friends, maybe everybody's coupled up, then have yourself a pamper night. If you're a girl, get a face mask on, get yourself in the bath, lock the doors, just totally veg out, put your toenails on, do your, maybe do a fake tan, um, do makeup, anything to make you feel special. Um, watch your favourite movie, just have a you night and then you could always go and finish the night off with a little bit of love for yourself. If you get my drift. Hopefully you do. But to love yourself is very, very important anyway. I'm talking about like really loving yourself now. Um, you do not need a partner to love Valentine's Day. You can just spend that love on yourself because that is so important so important to love who you are and make time for yourself um, you don't need boys for that so that's my advice and i hope that it helps some of you you're not alone for any singles you're not alone on valentine's day there is thousands millions of people that are in your shoes that hate it also um but it's one day a year and just stick through it and for any lovebirds who are planning something great use protection <laughs> and just have a great day um i love valentine's day like i never got a card when i was younger like, i think i got my first card when i was 15 my dad used to give me one how cute my dad always used to post one through the door <laughs> so i thought that the postman had brought it and i'd be like oh, i've Card, card for me and it was my dad who used to sign it with a little question mark but i know his handwriting i got one every year so yeah uh, <laughs> just a little story there to make you feel a little bit less of a dog because of me so i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed this video guys have a wonderful valentine's day no matter what you're doing 
and please like this video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already um i upload every two to three days mainly sometimes it can be four if i'm busy but i'm always around and hoping to grow my channel so love to you all take care love yourself and i'll see you in the next video bye bye